At last, in Abdekanu to be released. Jubilation looms across Brafia as IPOB receive fresh updates on their leader's bill. It says here that at last in the canoe to be released. Jubilation looms across Brafia as IPOB receive fresh updates on their leader's bill. Well, good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to your ears this morning. And looking at this headline, what do we have here? Say that in Abdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, has found himself once again at the center of legal proceedings as his bail application and preliminary objection of, to his trials are being heard in the Federal High Court in Abuja. The court preceded over by Judge Binta Nyanko has set March 19 as the date for ruling on these critical matters. The case has seen a clash of legal arguments from both sides Adik Boyewa um, um, Awumulu, representing the federal government, emphasized the Supreme Court decision which upheld certain counts of the charge against Kanu. Thus, affirming this continu con continuation of his trial, on the other hand, Ado Ejimako, Kanu's legal counsel, presented two motions, a bail application and a preliminary objection, arguing against the readiness to proceed with the trial. The outcome of this motion holds significant implication for Kano's legal stand and the overall progress of the trial. A favorable ruling on the bail application should potentially see Kano released from custody pending the outcome of the trial. Conversely, a rejection could mean an extended period of detention for the IPOB leader. Well, moreover, the, the preliminary objection raises fundamental questions about the like, about the legality and fairness of the trial process, which could have broader implications for the administration of justice in Nigeria. Well, depending on the court's decision, it, it, it could either pave the way for a swift continuation of the trial to lead, the further, to, lead to further delays and legal maneuvers. Beyond the legal, um, beyond the, the legal intrigacies, the case of Inamdi Kanu has deep rooted political and social implications, his leadership of IPOB and the socialist movement. It represents a spark significant controversy and unrest in parts of Nigeria, particularly in the southeast region. The outcome of this trial is closely watched by various stakeholders, including supporters of Brafia independence and those advocating for national unity and stability. Well, as the court ruling approaches, all eyes are on the Federal High Court in Abuja. The decision reached on March 19 will not only impact the fate of Inamdi Kanu but could also have fear reaching consequences for the legal landscape and social political dynamics for Nigeria. And that is all we have for you under this headline which says that at last Inamdi Kanu to be released. Jubilation looms across Brafia as IPOB received fresh updates on their leader's bail. It says here that the IPOB receives fresh updates on their leader's bail. Hmm. What is this fresh update we are talking about? Because Inam the Kanu has found himself once again at the center of legal proceeding, as once again in the in the court hearing, as his bail application and the and plenary objection to his trial are being heard in the Federal High Court in Abuja. It's being heard in the Federal High Court in Abuja. And the court proceeded over Justice Binta Wanku. This court set March 19 as the date for ruling on these crucial matters. They said March. They said the date March 19 for the ruling of his hearing, and the case has seen a clash of legal arguments. The case saw a clash of legal argument from both sides. From one of the side, Ade Boyewa Awomolo, the 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 lawyer representing the federal government, he emphasized the Supreme Court decision, which upheld certain counts of the charge against Kanu. He emphasized the Supreme Court decision, which upheld certain counts for the charge against Kanu, thus affirming the continuation of his trial, saying that they will, confirm, that they, 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 they will continue his trial. And on the other hand, Alo Ejimako, Kanu's led counsel, he represented two months, two motions. He represented two motions to the court: one, a bill application, and a primary objection, a bill to be granted on him before you hear him out. Arguing against readiness to proceed with this trial, saying that if they, if they are not given these two things that they said they would collect, they would not, they, they, they would not be tried. And what was the outcome? The outcome of this motion held significant implications for Kano's legal standards and the overall progress of the trial. 
a afford a favorable ruling on the bail application could potentially see Kanu released from custody pending the outcome of the trial. Well, conversely, a rejection could mean an extended period of detention for the IPOB leader. This means that a rejection of trial may seem as continued detention. It will be a continued detention for the IPOB leader. And the preliminary objection raises fundamental questions about the legality and fairness of the trial. The asking if the trial was even fair at all, which could have broader implications on the administration of justice in Nigeria, depending on the court's decision. Well, the, the, court, the, the court decision could either pave the way for a swift continuation of the trial or lead to future delay of legal maneuvers. Well, you can see why it's here that in Ambikandu is fighting for his rights as a free man in Nigeria because all evidence proves that he's innocent. But the court doesn't want to grant him that bail and free as a, and that free manship that he wants. And people are even questioning if this court what they're even doing is even like this at all. How uh, 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 would somebody prove innocent? Tap the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. So, as notification bell, so that anytime we have any new video like this, you'll be the first to get notified.